Welcome to the So Dope Show. <laughs> I am your host, Camille. Today is um, March 11th. 12. 12? It's 11th. <laughs> 2020. And we took a week off last week, but we are back again. Today, my guest is Mayor Scott Woods. <laughs> What's up? There's any confusion, we'll explain. But I, I wanted to bring Scott on to kind of let his hair down and just talk about. We didn't even talk about anything yet. And just talk about whatever I'm feeling like talking about today. I love it. Welcome. I love it. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, I feel like you're always working and doing things. I am. I am. But I am never too busy for you. That's so sweet. And I'm glad that you're here to indulge me. <laughs> <laughs> to indulge us. To indulge one of your many hustles. Yes. yes. So before we explain the mayor thing. Um, we're going to get you votes. We were oh, uh, we were in here last week. Do you want because I forgot to book a guest. So I went ahead and just took the week off. <laughs> so that's why. I came there was no show last week. You know me, I keep it real. Um, that's why there's no show last week. But there's a show this week, ta-da, and there's a show next week. Um, so we miss, we are on week, I say which week this is. Ten. We are in the 10th week of 2020. Um, we just wrapped up Black History Month, and boy, was it Black History Month. A lot Ooh. of things happened during the month of okay. February. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna skip February. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> you were there. You were on the internet. You saw everybody arguing about all things that we argued about during Black History Month. Congratulations to Leslie Battle. She won So Dope Sunday. If you don't know what So Dope Sunday is, it's the dopest open mic in the Midwest. And it happens every first Sunday at Burger M, which I've been saying incorrectly. Still, for months. Is that how that's pronounced? Burger M. Yeah. Which burger. is like, he runs I've been saying Burger I am for There's a whole explanation. But they emphasize the I am. So, yeah, naturally. I guess it means burgers in German. Like the plural yeah, burgers. Something like that. Someone read it to me like, actually, this is what it is. And I was like, the M is wow. actually Hebrew. And I believe it means more. See, or like but, more burgers or something yeah. like that. But because I don't have my phone. Because we're... Screaming from it. Shout out for Rondé for never correcting us. Correcting <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> he just let us be out here saying Burger I, I love that we said Rondé like it was his first name. Rondé. That's a really cool name. It kind of just... Rondé. Ron Paul's Day. Day. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to say Rondé The Leslie Battle. And she said that that's right. really nice. She started calling that. Oh, um, the first comedi- female comedian female black comedian to hey. win, which was a redemption for Black History Month when Corey Castelli won, and he's white, so. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he won her Black History Month, and then Leslie came in, and followed that up, and she won, so Women's History Month? Yep. Mm-hmm. So she'll be our feature on April 7th. So if you're a performer, you sing, you rap, you do bumps, you, I don't know, can do headstands very well mm. oh. to music. We have a stage for you. It's working so on no a headstand. Sunday. It's working on a headstand. I'd like to see it. <laughs> Bring it to the show. Mm. <laughs> BHB, you don't get to come. DJ BHB will have a song for that. They can win. I've seen him do headstands. <laughs> I have yes. seen him do headstands. He yeah. would support working on a headstand. He, he might not say it. But he'll definitely have a good song yeah. for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He'll have a song. I can think of it, yeah. <laughs> oh, a few songs? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, this purse is over here. Oh, can you pass it to me? <laughs> 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 Just like my mom's purse. <laughs> wow. like, my keys is in my purse. No, ma'am. You get yourself. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see. <laughs> Uh, what else did I want to talk about? I want to talk about... Oh, I don't really want to talk about this, but it happened. Nicki Minaj's husband was arrested uh, for not registering as a sex offender. So does she just like sex offenders? Like, is that her thing? I think... 
she? Does she have like a trauma porn yeah. issue? Or? I think I she know. has some type of trauma in her uh, past. Stockholm syndrome? Something. I generally Cause her brother don't. Did this. Yes, convicted currently serving time. So this would make her what the second time? I she believe her husband is a convicted attempted rapist. He tried, didn't pull it off, but he tried. If he would have had his way, he would have pulled it off. And mm. that doesn't seem to be a deal breaker. I'm ashamed of the three rape jokes that just went in my head. Like, I'm okay. not such a horrible person. Sorry, <laughs> internet. Don't cancel me. I don't have time this week. <laughs> well, you didn't tell him yet. Not a deal, not a deal breaker. But that happened. Um, he paid twenty something thousand dollars. And- I don't, know. I don't know, child, but I know that Meek Mill is probably having a great time. He <laughs> yeah, really was on the internet. On the last show, we talked about them them battling it out on Twitter. Um, so yeah, so that happened. Let's see, what else do I have here before I get into these? Before I get into this relationship stuff, <laughs> um, it's almost time for Insecure season four. Yes. <sighs> <laughs> Are you not a fan of Insecure? Because we're in not. this right now. I am not. How? So I like. <laughs> really? All right. right so now. like, um, you know what it is? It's 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 Issa Rae, man. I know, I know, I know, I know. Awkward black girl. I liked her on Awkward Black. Yeah, she did switch up when she came to her I was I was with that, but the show not so much. And I watched like the first season and then like part of the second and I was and after that it's just highlights. And I was just like, mm-hmm. Here's your thing. So you know lots of black women. Yeah, man. And I think the reason that <laughs> the <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> the reason that we probably like it is because we unfortunately see ourselves in so much of the shit that happens on that no show. Time. No Absolutely. Time. So you kind of have to like it now because then you're saying like you don't like us. Oh. You <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. That's Sagittarius. Yeah, I just want everybody to do that better. That was so Sagittarius. I just, I just want everybody to do better. No, there's all. specifically something about it, like the way it's written. Like, what is it about it that you're like? Eh. Yeah, it's it's mostly how it's written. Um, and uh, let me be clear, I am not suggesting that people shouldn't watch it. Um, that they can't watch, the show shouldn't exist. I'm, <laughs> I'm lightweight glad it exists. You know, we need some range. Yes. You know, in our black entertainment. So I'm all for that. Um, but like her character, man, just does so much stupid stuff. But her character's like, annoying. That's fair. I'm She's just like, extremely Dude. irritating. Yeah, no, this is the this is the protagonist. Uh, yeah. Well, I think I'm good on that. The, that is true. I feel the same way about um, Bromish. Like really gets on my nerves. Okay. I love the okay. show. Okay, so I love <laughs> grown There's so much balance with all the other characters. Mm-hmm. Like, Zoe who cuts stresses else? me out. Like she is so. I think Zoe and Issa are the same person. With but Zoe has money. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. but in their whole like, oh, I can't believe this is happening to me. Like, you're duh. not wrong. Yes, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Because the only thing that saves Zoe, Zoe is, is that she, she has money. money. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is the difference between the two. Mm-hmm. The personality-wise, extremely similar. Mm-hmm. But the supporting characters <clears throat> bounce it out. I couldn't do just Zoe. I can't do just oh, Lisa. God, no. Like, no, I need Molly and the, what's her friend that peed on herself at Coachella? <laughs> I need her. So you'd be missing stuff. That was yeah, a really good I'm part. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like, your highlight was somebody peeing on himself. So. <laughs> Honestly, I'm good. I'm good. Honestly, the twins do it for me. Because they're counter. Um, oh. Holly and Chloe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Their, mean, their counterbalance is so perfect. Their response. They, but they're, yeah. they're so good and will do so many good things. But I appreciate that even though they are spawns. Okay, yeah. I'm saying they are. They are so themselves, though. Except for sometimes the, the Tina outfits, because God bless that woman, she needs to stop making them clothes. I'm very curious <laughs> to see what Tina happens. Tina Knowles makes their costumes for girls. I don't know. They're from, sometimes some they're ugly. Stuff they look like. Oh, uh, <laughs> not sure. Like Destiny Shadow, but it yeah. looks like something that she probably sewed up. <laughs> I'm curious to see what happens after the Little Mermaid. 
drop yes. them. Yes. Mm-hmm. And as a duo. Because that's how. Because she's going to like. Because right now she's considered the, the more quiet twin, which I've never understood. Like it mm-hmm. doesn't have to necessarily be a one or the other where twins are concerned. And they're not even twins in real life, right? They're not. They're, they're like on the a show. year apart. Yeah. Um, or might be even a little bit longer than that. But it doesn't have to always be, well, she's the quiet one or he's the loud one or, you know, they're a little bit more rambunctious when you don't want to say your kid is bad as hell. <laughs> but <laughs> right. it doesn't have to be a one or the other. They could just be themselves. That could just be Holly, and that's enough. I was um I wasn't I didn't know what to expect with them like how they were going to write their characters I don't know I just didn't expect that I appreciate I was the way they surprised. did there's actually development in each of the the core characters there's yeah. actual development and I appreciate that mm. without admitting that there's a thing for Doug <laughs> <laughs> because he's like twelve and I'm not he's um, not. <clears throat> He is a Diddy Simmons is an adult. Diddy Simmons. Diddy Simmons is an adult. Did I say Diddy? You Diddy. said Diddy. Diddy. I did. Well, he's got ninety three names. They cross. I'm glad you brought Diddy up because I did not. I can't believe I didn't write down his Diddy whole Simmons. army is dead. Diddy I'm bring it has back. like a million names. I just had a whole argument about him releasing an album. He has an album. Diddy. Why? Diddy? Not Diddy. Diddy. Did he had albums in like the ten? Like and Puffy. I thought you. It was, I thought you were saying it was, it was one was under Brother one. Love. He did. It was Puff he released Daddy, an album under Brother Love. The he last Diddy project, Puff Daddy and the Family, was an album. The last thing I paid attention to was Last Train to Paris. Mind you, I didn't even remember group. him being named Brother Love. That's how he much he Diddy Simmons me. is twenty four. I'm thirty two. I'm twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. I had to Google which brother he was. Just see yeah, I had to Google which one he was. Well, it's like, I'm only 32. I don't know if you're ever going to listen to this, but you know, I ain't got no kids. I'm 32. <laughs> and I'll be in the gym digging, you know, we could do gym things. Diggy, if you're watching, Hana is flexible and available. Flexible and available. Twenty-four, thirty-two. 32. And Corona free. Yeah. Why did you look up his picture like, oh, I'm only 32. <laughs> <laughs> she said she's still young enough to climb that train, okay? Still, still, I used to feel conflicted watching Run's House. I'm like 20-something at this point. Right. And I'm like, I feel like... He's going to be adorable. And then it was like, oh, no, he's definitely not. And adorable. then then one day he was like 19. And I was like, I still feel like... <coughs> I will be conflicted. I feel conflicted about, about the way that I feel about this. And then I'll be watching the show like. Mm-hmm. So he's in. Um, he's in Grownish. I did not know that. You will that. love his character. I, yes. I will. You actually would love his character. I already like his Wikipedia page. I mean, if you want to come through, I have all. I have Bookmark. Um, <laughs> I have all three seasons. Still save in my DVR. We can go through a video. She's gonna have such a dud crush. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're talking about him all day. Um, but we won't. <laughs> I Let's, do, <laughs> Let's do um a commercial break. Do you have something this week? Do I have something this week? <clears throat> and has, I'm gonna have to move her hair out the way so you can look at the camera. <laughs> Attention, small business owners, entrepreneurs, entrepreneur negroes. And etc. <laughs> we have been asking for several weeks for you to email us at saltdopethings at gmail.com with your information if you would like a spot on the show. Right now it's free and we're trying to be generous, but we're going to be charging soon and you guys aren't helping yourselves. So, for today's commercial break, <laughs> email us your info so we can have one inserted here. Thank you. Us help you <clears throat> be great for free for two more weeks. And also shout out to my niece, Shaky the Comedian. Sweet. <laughs> Shaky the Comedian. That's a cute little shirt there. Mm-hmm. Ask my husband. Mm-hmm. Oh. She made this for an option. Because her tagline is actually "Ask my baby dad," but some of us are married. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I don't want you to ask my okay. baby dad nothing. 
Got it. <laughs> comedian, shout out to you. Um, my commercial plug is going to be Fed. Live music series begins next Friday night. Um, yes. Tickets are on sale. You can pay 20 at the door if you want to, or you can pay 15 and get your ticket early, or you can pay 35 for mm -hmm. VIP and get a catered dinner. So you, some candlelight, something delicious, a band, me hosting, mm -hmm. I'm delightful, two features, Dear Miss Stevie, she is a poet, she Don't. is the money fairy at the GCAC, and um, she's going to be doing spoken word with soft music playing behind her by a mm -hmm. live band, and I approve. Faith is a singer-songwriter from Dayton, Ohio, so the concept of Fed is I showcase artists from around the Midwest. Not just Columbus, but only two per show, so we can really get into their original stuff. Very original, material heavy. That you know, you might hear a cover here and there from me, band or whoever singing. Um, it's six shows. We have first Stevie and Faith, then we have I Soja and Bashiri Assad, who is a I don't even know how to describe Bashiri Assad as a, amazing. As a, <laughs> Entity of soul. <laughs> yes. He is from Indianapolis. He will be here in April. And then in May, we have RB singer Xavion and Superstar K is kind of everything. Mm -hmm. He's from Cleveland, <clears throat> Columbus and Cleveland. And then we're going boom back to Dayton <laughs> and Columbus with Fireball, Reggae, and Syrah <sighs> Hip Hop. July, we have Cincinnati. Dave V. Soul from Cincinnati, so R&B singer, songwriter, producer. He produced my single, Cherry Wine. And mm -hmm. Jay Carey for hip-hop. Jay Carey with a live band. Um, and then August, we have Ella Star. And Malik X is a hip-hop artist from Cleveland. So all these people mm -hmm. submitted. I went through all of them. I spent a lot of time trying to match it up to make sure that the show feels like really, really good. So, that's what Fed is. Tomorrow, I'm going to go talk to Columbus Alive about Fed. To get more paying attention, you should buy a ticket and be supportive. Pay 35 and get Fed while at Fed. If you want some herb roasted chicken, mashed potatoes, why you listen to live music and poetry, I mean, for 35 bucks at Columbus, winning. Mm -hmm. So that's it. I'll post about more about it. That was my announcement for the week. What's going on at Streetlight? This week, not much. <laughs> <laughs> no, by comparison, nothing. Oh, uh, we we're like booked privately this week. Okay. So not nothing really for a little while. Nothing in March. Oh no, that's not true. Okay. So later in the month, we do have uh, Starlit Waves is coming back through. Mm. Which I have no idea who that is. Oh, they're an amazing duo. Okay. Um, singing, uh, the brother plays guitar, Chris, and a sister Rose, she sings in multiple languages. Oh. And so they have a nice, real smooth, kind of almost international tone. To I'm intrigued. It's dope. That is easily the dopest show that we have this month. Nice. Mm -hmm. What day is that on? Uh, <laughs> I didn't look it up. You asked me too quick. Well, we ain't got much time left in March. It's, yeah. Man, we're on the 11th already. There's so like, much in March. Slow down. Slow down. They are on the 27th. March okay. 27th. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, man, that would be the end of the month already. Mm -hmm. uh, let's have anything else. Showtime at the Savoy, because I always have things, is <laughs> the <laughs> launch party for the Ohio R&B Music Festival, which I'm working on for October. Um, but March 28th, we're doing an Apollo-style competition at the Savoy Club on the east side. I'm hosting east side. the Solutions Band is providing the music. If you would like to sing, there are five spots left as of the last time I checked my email. All you have to do is buy a ticket. Yeah. And then email me what song you would like to sing. Not Joe Scott the Way. Please. As long as your song is not taken, <laughs> it is not that song, you're good. 
If it is taken, I will let you know so that you can pick something else. What if it's just got Crown Royal? I'll allow it. Okay. Why not the way? Everybody it's, yeah, it's so. It's so. Shame, it's so. If there's a cover band, Columbus was a morning. female singer. She has this sang it. Columbus. I'm just saying for immediately for someone she may have heard nationally at open mics, karaoke, karaoke to mitzvahs, birthday parties, funerals, weddings. Listen, if you're, hold on, wait a minute. If you have somebody singing the way well at your funeral, I'm coming because your funeral is coming. Okay, I want to be at that fume. <laughs> oh, that's a fume. That's a fume. There's somebody singing a cover of Joe Scott because that was, you know, Auntie's favorite song. Right. That's a fume. That's a fume. Um, she got two outfit changes. I, I, I made a post about the way earlier and how there are other songs. And I stand by that. Because I have been attending events just as a member, just as an audience member. I've attended lots of shows mm-hmm. you know, over the years. I can't, I don't even know how many. And at almost every one, somebody sings that song. If it's an open mic, somebody is going to sing that song. They're going to try. When, I, a karaoke when I started taking submissions for yeah. Showtime at the Savoy, Two people out the gate. (laughs) And we were joking about it at first. Like, how many people going to try to pick the way? And lo and behold, I open an email. And it's like, stage name, boom, song, the way. And I was just like, (laughs) I just, Joe Scott has so many songs. I wish I was surprised. Grits. Yes, you have. There's no way possible. Like I just read the lyrics. I've never heard that song before. I'm not even going to play it. Even We're going to talk after this episode. She's definitely it's heard not it. True. It's not gospel. I, it, it, it's like I'm going to tell would... you about your own life. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that song has you not crossed song. you at least once. It's like saying I've never heard the happy birthday song. It's, it's like saying you've black never happy heard birthday song. Rain. Right, you absolutely. It's like this little light of mine, or like (laughs) twinkle, twinkle, little star. (laughs) I love the song. I only want to hear it on the radio, or when it. I just encourage people to. I want to hear it. I want it. I just want it to be done by Jilly from Philly live. Or a with, karaoke. With the, I, with karaoke, the mic allow it. <laughs> that she absolutely molests on stage because absolutely. that's the only way to see Jill Scott. <laughs> she has so many songs that are options. Yes. Do I want to hear a long walk? No. But if it's between that and that, no. Not Do I want to hear song, Golden? Yeah. Not really. But if it's either that or Grits. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna live our life like it's golden. Um, there's only one Joe Scott song that I cover, and my band is forbidden to play the way. Also, SWV Week is also on the forbidden list. Mm. You guys For know covers. that. You guys know SWV has a whole catalog, right? We just did Always on My Mind. I know you, you did. did. I was, yeah. I was there because it was free. <laughs> like anything. I mean, I get so weak in the knees. Sing downtown. Like, that was great. Time. Say downtown would we'll be hyped. That was great. Say I would be hyped if somebody started singing downtown. I didn't want to go there, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. yeah, it's a great song. Yeah, when it was it's... out, I didn't realize what I was singing. No, you didn't. I had no idea, but it was, was a great song. S W V. You gotta go downtown. It's the way to my love. Take it round and round. Oh, oh I you understand can't stop. I've never heard that. But as a child, like, man, <laughs> I did not know. <laughs> and I don't know why my mom allowed it. Cause I'm like, gotta go downtown. <laughs> there are so many songs I wonder why mom doesn't allow. <laughs> like, anything. I, it, it was probably more out? uncomfortable to talk about it than to just let the song yeah. ride out and Wait. move along. When did Mocha and Steph come out? Because I'm pretty sure I was in the middle Around the same school time, singing Sex in the Rain. Awful. Like I knew anything He's about fine. it. He's mm. fine. You may have had a month. So, so you're just cool with your new t Okay, fine. go for it's it. It's a horrible song. No, even after that one. Who I was that? singing That's Sex in the Rain at the top of I my lungs. I never even knew that. That happened. was the absolute next track. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was in Them in total, I was just oh. in it like 
why was I this messy child and why did my mother allow it? <laughs> I mean, downtown's pretty bad. Shout out to mom and dad for letting me have no chill. They probably <laughs> didn't want to talk about it. And it's on the radio, so oh, you're no, my start. parents talked about it. We like, had a very absolutely. open relationship. No, that was But hold on, this was like, let me think. This would have been 20 years ago now when that stuff was out? No, further than that. 25? So how old was your folks then? Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> they was old enough to be parents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why my mom let me listen to it because that's not something that would have been addressed. Listening to it. No, not oh, really. We had we, my grandmother had the box and um, yeah. were you sneaking and watching Real Sex Thirty Seven? Oh God, no. <laughs> no. Oh, you did it. No. I absolutely did. I mean, when I got older, but Skin <laughs> Max was a thing. It's like, what is this? Skin was a thing. But I think the first, okay, back to the box. The first video I consciously remember seeing on the box, Two Life Crew. Which one? Me So Horny. You should have just watched Real Sex. Watch yeah. a Two I Life Crew. First of all, I had no <laughs> idea. This is how young I was when this song was out. I had no idea what Me So Horny meant. So I'm, I was like, fuck it. Okay, okay, I'm in the back seat, like me so horny, pow. Yeah, <laughs> uh, my mom's hand could bend corners, and it caught me, and I had no idea what I did. That's wrong, where she drew the line. But I knew to <laughs> shut up. You can think about, <laughs> about sex in the rain all you want to, what you're not going to say is that. <laughs> No clue what I was talking about. <laughs> you're not going to make the first move. What you're not going to do? You know any of this. You can sing it. You do not know what it means. Mm. I just, my parents just rather not talk about it. My version of the Beats talk was from my dad. He said, the only kind of sex you're going to have is phone sex. Whoa. Oh. Dad. <laughs> that was in like sixth grade. Mm. And I was mortified, and I wasn't even sure what that meant, but I knew that nothing was going down. Only type of sex you want to have is what? That was what he came up with. Was, so? That was the first thing. <laughs> That's Dad. it. To this day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just had to look up one of my favorite SWV songs to see when it came out. Uh, you were right here that they did with the Human Nature backing? Yeah. Okay, I was 12. What year was it? 93. I was not 12. <laughs> I was using songs like that okay. at that age. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mayor Woods. You see him. Back then, phones Mayor. didn't have screens. <laughs> I'm not that guy. Mr. I, so phones well, didn't I have any one, pictures at all. I know. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, you're so phone. Phone. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mayor, you're so Mr. Mayor, you're so poor. The rotary phones. History can't hurt oh my gosh. Did you fuck up on the rotary phones? You know, the only thing I miss that you can't really get with a cell phone is the joy of actually taking your phone and just mm. <laughs> yeah. passionately know, hanging up with someone. <laughs> exactly. And that's, that's just not satisfying to hit that. <laughs> no, I want to, you know what? Bye. Boom. You can't really throw you it can across the room. You're like, oh my God. <laughs> Shell. Big facts. Yeah, I found a tune that you uh, started recording on my computer the other day. I listened to it and it was absolutely gorgeous. Anywho, mm -hmm. um, who else? Lots of people. Hello, everybody. We're here with Mayor Scott Wood. <laughs> I guess we can talk about that now. Yes, let's. Uh, so, Mr. 7% in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Scott actually got votes in the last mayoral uh, election. Um, Probably accidentally on purpose. <laughs> like, I think more accidentally than on purpose. I, 
Give you. you a little background on how that came to be. <laughs> how did that happen? Yes. So I had, um, you know, I've got a weekly column with Columbus Alive. Mm-hmm. And I just decided that, you know, right before the election was happening, to go ahead and put a column out about, um, I just created like this fake platform. I was just like, you know, the mayor is running unopposed. I think that that's ridiculous, especially mm-hmm. considering how bad a mayor he is. And I said, you know, and there was like some, I, technically he wasn't unopposed. There was one person who, um, who had actually filled out paperwork mm-hmm. there, right? Um, he was just undefeatable, right? right. So, um, and I said, well, you know, look, I gotta fill some column space. How about, I, you know, the platform was not real, obviously, right? Like, it had something on there about like Mikey's late night slice, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But um, but there were, you know, it was an opportunity for me to draw attention once again to certain issues about the police and so on and so forth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why I did that. And then, of course, I just kind of threw in there, like, look, if you want to vote, go ahead and write a brother in. And so then... Oh, did we? Under did we ever? To write a brother in. <laughs> and so by the time the election results came in, I mean, of course, again, the mayor was not going to be beat at all. He's not going to be beat at No, but you, no. you could not tell that to people who were voting. The mayor could not be beat with only two weeks' notice. Oh, well, uh, you are correct, Jasmine. You are absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. That someone had actually mounted an actual campaign Mm -hmm. with more than two weeks' notice, then perhaps, Mm -hmm. maybe... Oh, it would have been a Two weeks' notice and one Twitter post and a couple of Facebook shares? Yeah. Something like that. DJ. (laughs) We also live in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, I supported exactly. the Scott Woods mini campaign. That, that, oh, means, that. <laughs> Columbus has, you, that, that means a lot. <laughs> Columbus has a pretty nice art community, and I don't underestimate it at all. So mm-hmm. <laughs> I think if you if you actually been like for real, for real. I mean, he is already the unofficial mayor of the Columbus. Yeah, <laughs> right. What's I like? It's Mayor Woods. Never mind. It's like yeah, that yep. actually is. Uh, so that's what we're doing. You gotta get a plaque. Yeah. <laughs> is that what I Mayor Woods, Mayor S. Woods. Uh, uh, I will settle for like a nice parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Free meals around downtown. That would be dope. Yeah. So, in addition to being our unofficial mayor, mm-hmm. um, you also run the Streetlight Guild for I people do. who have no idea. Yeah. Which some of these people probably don't. What that is? For sure. Tell them about it. So Streetlight Guild is a nonprofit organization that I created that puts on arts programming. Now that by itself just means I'm just like a hundred other organizations. But Streetlight Guild is different in the respect that it is uh, Columbus focused, right? So I'm I wouldn't say I'm exclusively Columbus, but you know I want almost all the programming that comes through there to be highlighting Columbus work. Mm-hmm. Um, we also have a fairly um, broad definition on what culture is. Uh, for me, I'm in the business of creating culture and trying to define what Columbus culture is. And you don't just do that by putting on music shows. Uh, culture consists of ideas. Culture consists of writing. Culture consists of cuisine. Culture con- consists of fashion. You know, so all of those things, you know, create a, a wholer, fuller life. Um, and so I'm interested in kind of trying to figure out can Columbus create those things in a way that identifies it? Mm-hmm. And then also underrepresented voices is a focus as well. Um, there's so much art here in the city. Um, you know, the city is, by population stats, um, is about 40% people of color, give or take. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's culturally <laughs> About 90% white. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just trying to, like, move the needle a little bit on that. Same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what Streetlight Guild is. Um, You know, I have the venue, 1367 East May Street. Um, So we are putting on shows all the time, all kinds of things. Um, Occasionally, I rent it out for people who are trying to do the thing, you know, trying to get the thing off the ground. But most of the stuff that happens there is in-house programming. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I brought it a couple times. Yeah, you did. Continue to do so. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, so I would like 
to some random shit and you'd be like, okay. Yeah. That's the answer cool. is yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. So Everybody it's not a that answer. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. I appreciate. Appreciate yeah. all the things. So I had my birthday show there. Indeed. <laughs> funny story like we had wine and I was getting ready to sing and I'm like I'm so sober like I don't feel anything so <laughs> I went in the back while Latoya was singing um, Latoya was singing singing mm-hmm. um, and just <laughs> some wine and as soon as I walked on the stage I was like oh my god it's about to be drunk like yeah. my whole set yeah. my, yeah. my whole birthday set I was like so birthday wasted <laughs> bad I underestimated the Moscato but yeah. it was yes, so, it, it was the perfect place to do that oh and it was really nice and there's people there that I've never seen in my life so we do have like a little it's very cool a nice little cult following I would say cult following <laughs> <laughs> it's not what it's cult <laughs> I have a they're cult they're very following. curious about it's true like it has an audience <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. curious people yes. who want to know what is going on up in here yeah yeah so but I love are, that you have that though. That you have people who just say, "Well, it's street light, it's so it's gotta be good." Going to check it out because of its being its yeah. street light. Well, and that's the thing. Like you know, for me, it's really important to be putting things in that space that you won't see in everywhere else. Absolutely right. Um, which is not to say I don't want people who perform in other places to perform there. I absolutely do. You won't see me drunk. Anywhere else, I, I usually <laughs> don't even drink at all before I perform. That was special. Yeah. I really don't, cause I be forgetting words. Like yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> and I said I'm probably about to forget some words, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull them up on my phone. Mm. And, you know, so special. Hope so so it's you. <laughs> no, yeah, so, that's it's Haley's birthday. That's it. You know, I just like to have people, even when they perform in other places, I want them to feel free to be themselves. In that space, mm-hmm. um, because we, especially black artists, so rarely get to do that. Yeah, you know, we always have to play covers. We always got to do this. We always got to do that to get, <coughs> you know, to get the gig. And so I just try to remove as many of those barriers as possible, and just right. be like, "Look, we're gonna have the room. It's gonna have this. It's gonna have some audience. You know, just." And you hate to use a buzz buzzword, but it's so great that you provide the space where people can be their authentic self. Oh no, that's that's wholly appropriate. Yeah. You can be drunk too. <laughs> We're not advocating <laughs> drunk in freedom. The you know, like, it's indoors, so it's not public. You know what I'm saying? It's public, private, publicly, mm-hmm. like whatever. It's so <laughs> <laughs> whatever. We are advocating for more pictures under the street light. Yes. Like <laughs> I did begin that and I'll take credit for it for the next 30 I love years. That so you have to stand under the post thing. The street light. The yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't even notice it was there. It was like, oh, my jerk ass. Yeah. <laughs> I said, okay, we have to get a picture at street light under the street light. <laughs> it was Snap. a great picture. I'm so glad that's screwed into the floor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make that my profile picture. Because she was on it. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> so okay, so that's not even it. So the street light and there's writer's block. Yes. yes. On Wednesday nights. Happening tonight. And it's like 20 something years old now. 20. Whoa. <laughs> 22? Ooh, 22 years of that? 22. Wow. So writer's yeah. block poetry night is. They don't know. Uh, it is the open mic. No, the second, <laughs> this of, it's the second oldest open mic in town. Uh, we just do poetry, so unlike your show, which lets everybody kind of do their thing, I'm very adamant about <laughs> if I you mean, walk in with an instrument, we kick you right <laughs> out. It is, you cannot twerk on a headstand. I mean, you can, you can, you can, if, if, if a poem was going out of your mouth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> On his That's talent. And do a poem. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, 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 I wish I could say I was making that up. Uh, <laughs> it's very diverse. I've been a couple times. Yeah, no, it's, it's packed every week, um, even with the coronavirus. And so it's a good time. I MC it. I'm fairly irreverent. Um, and so, you know, half the show is me just picking on people in the audience, picking on poets. Um, I've witnessed this. Yeah, it's, it's a good time. This like, is every Wednesday? Every what Wednesday. What time does it start? 8 o'clock. And it's still at Cafe. Is it Kerouac? Cafe Kerouac. Yeah, right. look at you. Yeah. What time does it end? 
whenever, but I try to uh, end it no later than like 10, 15, 10, 30. We, and we start at 8. We don't play around. Okay. Right. It's a good season it's not to Pillow roam season. up there. Oh, what's it's not, that? It's not. It's not. Not at all. Look at you being correct. It's just it's, waiting. It's, like they're probably there. Well, they, they, they might. Right. Yeah, that's you know what it is. No, let me tell you what that's about. You can't even muff it until Scott come in. No, hold up. So, like, no, for real. I will start that thing. Well, okay, so first of all, the rule is that I try not to start no later than 8, 10. Mm-hmm. But I always try to start it on time because I don't really care who's there. If there are five people that were starting, right? Because I'm going home. So no Sunday. And so Maybe if seven, if we get through the list before you get there, then you miss the show. And that's happened a couple of times where that's happened to something. Yeah, you know, like I burned <laughs> through the list, and somebody will roll in there like ten, and I'm like, after like bruh. doing shows, starting out, and being like, oh, we need more people, and like, oh, okay, we'll just wait a little bit, and mm. then like after a while, you're like. Listen, I am going home, and it's going to be next Wednesday. Like, whatever. Who are we waiting, waiting for? Like, who are we waiting for? So is there a cutoff for the list? Cut-off there is now? now. Well, it's not a time. It's in a number. Mm-hmm. So we have a number, because we're putting up, like, 25 to 30 poets a week uh-huh. at, at one poem apiece. And so that's that's a long, that, that's a lot of show. Between me and my mouth. And the poems. <laughs> it's, a it's a lot of shit. You gonna get your five dollars worth one way or another. Yeah. But um, but yeah. So um, but you know, there's a number in which we kind of like create a wait list, and then if we have some time, we'll hit the wait list. But if you don't make it to the wait list, there is a cutoff for the wait list too, because what was happening was we'd be hitting like 30, 35 people, mm-hmm. and then like thirty six would come in like five minutes before the end of the show trying to get on. Bruh, no. Mm-hmm. I'm like, 25 people. <laughs> I'm like, so 10, yeah. is there 7 people? Okay, let's start the show. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to get out of here. Yeah, I get upset like when I get real close to the end of the list and it's not even 10 o'clock yet. Like, it was like 9.45. Yeah. And I'm getting near the end of the list. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get out of here. Out of here. And then no. somebody will come in. Somebody will come in. Somebody will come in. Oh, man. See, he's nice and he's still leaving it kind of open. Like, okay, use the paper. Lightweight. But that's, it's been a while since I've had to worry about that because we've really been packed to the gills. Mm -hmm. And so we've been filling our list at the top of the show. I believe it. Yeah. Does it fluctuate like with the weather or does it not matter? Not so much anymore. Um, It does fluctuate with like, well, I guess it does fluctuate kind of with the seasons quarterly, so to speak, Mm -hmm. right? So, because we're next to OSU, we get these influxes of audience, mm-hmm. you know, every, I guess every There's semester. There's a lot of foot traffic in that. Yeah, yeah, but, but it's mostly, people are there, nobody comes to it accidentally, mm-hmm. or very few, I should say. Most people have heard about it, you know, we've been around 22 years. Yeah. You know, you already have kind of like this critical mass core of people who are going to come about this percentage, which is kind of how I've worked it out. Yeah. You know, I was like, if we get 2% of 5,000 unique visits, if 2% of that number shows up, we're always going to be packed. And so somewhere about four or five years ago, we hit whatever that number is. Yeah. And that's just kind of where it's been. Was there points, I'm asking for myself, not a friend, Yeah. where you were like, <laughs> I just don't want to do this. Yes. I really like to not do this show. A couple years ago, <laughs> yeah. Right before the 20-year mark. Mm-hmm. I was really close to the <laughs> club. Um, I was just burnt out. And I was just like, I don't think people are here for the right reasons. And I yeah. just, I'm not seeing enough of the needle move on the art. And blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, I had to like have a few key conversations. <laughs> which didn't entirely change my mind. But it made me think. But then I had to like really go look at what people were doing in the room. And, you know, look, half the people that show up at an open mic, mine or anybody else's as far as I'm concerned, um, half the people that show up are not trying to be great artists. Mm-hmm. I mean, even if they think they are, they're not technically <laughs> trying to do that. There's that. They just want to express themselves. Yes. Yeah. Or get laid or whatever, which is well, just express it. themselves. Yes. Yeah. And so... Open mic will get you laid. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> at least I mine. Why yeah. people do come out of... Yeah. But um, <laughs> but I was just like you know look if people need a place to kind of I, it, it just it was just the one place in the city that I knew I could I could guarantee it 
that you would walk in the door and I you don't know what's going to happen. You absolutely don't. I don't know what I'm going to say as the MC. I don't know what these poets are going to do. Yeah. Somewhere in the middle is going to be a show. Yeah. And that every week I never that know what's going to happen. Thing. There's yeah. not a whole lot it's of It's risky, people. but it's, you know, sometimes the joke don't fly. You know, yeah. but... You know. There's not a whole lot of people that someone who hasn't been doing it for 20 years yet, mm. like I'm like maybe pushing like a quarter of that, Yeah. Um, that I can ask like, okay, so right now I'm feeling like I'm done here. Like, yeah, no, no, and I remember um, when you were uh, not too long ago, when you were kind of just like up. tapping out like, I'm, I'm out of this. Yeah, and then even <laughs> lately, I, like Solo Sunday is something that I know I want to continue even if I'm not physically there yes. because I think that it is important. But overall, like doing events, I'm like sometimes like I lately I've been feeling like I really just want to sing and take this band and go to London. Like no, I mean it's, it's... Style. I, mean, <laughs> I want to go, go to Zimbabwe. I don't know why Zimbabwe is a recurring thing, but like that you you've mentioned that one a lot. We need to get you to Zimbabwe. Yeah, Zimbabwe <laughs> keeps coming up, but, really cool. but like the last couple of days I've been like I don't really know like. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, for me, it's always been important to never let people forget that I'm also an artist, right? It's way mm-hmm. easy for people to just be like, oh, Scott's the organizer, dude. Yes. And so every once in a while, I gotta, like, drop a book. Or I gotta, flex on like, them. I think, exactly. Exactly. Like, the curious you are. Exactly. Yes. Get out my side. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, it's it's real important to, I, I don't have balance, okay? Yeah. I don't. I but. Don't but um chemically or otherwise <laughs> <laughs> that's kind but of when I'm an artist I'm an artist you know and even I, with myself I'm like you you know you yeah. do make music and you just had a wild more release party last year and but it's like events events I want other people to express themselves and all that and you can kind of get lost in that mm-hmm. and then next thing you know you're really really tired and then Somebody does some dumb shit, and you're like, "We don't even have to be here." Put <laughs> like, all these tables. <laughs> no, no. I could just sing my songs. <laughs> you don't have to be selfish, man. You don't oh. have to get selfish. And it's I mean, so for hard. me, it's way hard because of the venue, right? Yeah, like, I can never entirely yeah. tap out. Yeah. And, you know, unless I get somebody going in there, open the doors or whatever, right. I can't entirely tap out. I mean, I'm doing that programming. And even if you did, you're still gonna be like, "What are y'all doing tomorrow?" Well, definitely that. <laughs> like, like, it took me 20 years Dude, to get it. Stuff in my floors. Like, yeah, you no, know? nah, for real. Yeah, the <laughs> cameras in there, just you know, watching the cameras. Oh, no, yeah. I mean, it's like on the phone line. What you doing in that room? Yeah, we're picking the chairs, don't scrape it. <laughs> no, it's a great <laughs> one. He, he definitely said that out loud. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the craziest balance of all. I'm like, I said, I don't have many people. So even I, like, people like you, and then like AJ at Vanderelli Room, mm-hmm. um, Rondé, who I haven't seen one day like people like that are like the only kind of unofficial mentors that I have mm. whether you don't like it or not <laughs> like they're kind of looking or I want to be like I to kind of see yeah that looks since Howard or whatever yeah um because I'm just out here so I appreciate <laughs> Having people like you and like I mean you didn't like, ask for my advice but if I could I give you a piece of advice I would be like pace yourself yes can you remind her of the importance of taking a day off I did Monday because my body crashed. That's not taking a day off. That's, 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 that's your body. Yeah. 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 Nobody giving up. Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I just have like, to no. say, I am a good assistant. Okay, I you schedule see. days off for her, and I schedule mm-hmm. things. She puts things in there. I will block off the entire day. You need to rest today, and I will go in a day later, and there are six things added. You gotta block Lord, that. So you change the password. <laughs> change the password. Shout out to Janelle, um, who's getting married. We're going to Vegas in June for right. Bachelorette thing. So yes. that will be me not doing shit. But that, you said June? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're going to be dead before then. <laughs> She does Most not listen. And then you said you go for a wedding? <laughs> exactly. exactly. So it's not even like it's a just proper vacation. Yeah. 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 You act like you haven't been through a Janelle turn up. There's not going to be rest. <laughs> no, she moved to Arizona. Did she? Yeah. When? Uh, like the end of the year. <coughs> two or three weeks ago? Yeah. yeah. Very recently. Got engaged. Oh, man. She, he didn't know Janelle. Mm. She's in Phoenix or somewhere near Phoenix. Okay. Um, she's so doing yeah, all the comfortable so weather and like, daylight savings. Time. We're going zip lining and ATV riding in the desert. <laughs> and I don't, I don't zip line or 
Yeah, yeah. Because mine is fun. These are her bachelorette things. So I'm going to do those in June, and I'm going to come back exhausted. So I guess that's not really... What was that about resting? We'll work on it. Okay. You got to unplug, man. You got to unplug. I know, but I quit my job. (laughs) So now I feel like (laughs) 10 times more pressure to go, 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 go. Because who's going to feed the children? You got to take two days, back-to-back days. Okay. You got to do it. Okay. I'm thrilled. Did you do it? Yes. Okay. I mean... Yeah. You know what I do? I put, <laughs> So I do like two or three crazy things in like one day, and that'll get y'all over the next 48 hours. And then y'all, y'all don't even know I'm days. gone. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's All how right. I play it. Two Overload. I, I, I find I'm very often you do that, like every month. I mean, month. I don't want to reveal. Because <laughs> <laughs> then you'll be like, every oh, he's going to take some time off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to um, him right there. <laughs> Like, I'm very close to taking her phone and her laptop and just not getting it back. I still have an iPad in my back. You can just go on Google, change her password. You have all the screens. She has all the screens. I'll be in my room with my phone, my laptop's here, my Mac's over there, my iPad's right there on the bed. No, I'm just grabbing it, roaming around the house, doing different things. It's terrifying. You gotta cut that out, man. I am. You're not going to make it? I make a declaration balance. today, March balance. 11th. Wait, make this clear. Everybody quiet so we can get this recorded. Wait, we can schedule it right now. Lies. On air. <laughs> we have a calendar right now. What are you doing? Scheduling my two days off. Two days off of like everything? Every week? E- everything. She's not no, not every week. week. Oh, God. She no. can't emotionally afford Every other week. week. <laughs> <laughs> every other Once week. What's the one? When it, Every other month. When it, what are these Every other month. Um, okay, so let's see. Is it March? It's, it's not. It's no. probably not it's it's March. About April. 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 Okay. April's fair. When, when in April? <laughs> I'll down the April. Of April. Isn't Easter in April? Yes. Easter Sunday is the 12th. Easter. Um, I could do. <laughs> April 19th and 20th. The 19th. 420. 420. 420. Yeah. The whole month of April is 420. <laughs> I know people are excited. <laughs> I can feel the excitement. So, really. So, I'm putting it on my calendar. So, for the recording, <clears throat> April 19th. As of Sunday. today, March 11th, at what time is this going? 827. At 827 p.m., Miss Camille has declared <laughs> that. The days of April 19th and April 20th are do nothing days. Are do nothing days. They are to run consecutively <laughs> for 48 total hours. Gosh. She is so not to be just... text inboxed, DM'd, slid in, slid away from, slid mentioned, in. tagged, added. <laughs> <laughs> Off. Right. If you're not going to get sick. Technologically. I'll put it on my calendar. Okay. Meal off on the 19th and 20th. And I'm going to check. That means I can't promo anything. No. Nothing. She cannot be left alone. I'm going to reach out to you. If you reach back, you bust it. (laughs) (laughs) What are we doing? (laughs) What's going on? Bust it. So, you should come to the show. No, none of that. None of those things. All right. She Go loves you. There. She does. But April 19th and 20th, she's off. They'd be all right. I'm so tired. Okay, yes. <laughs> there. So, all you're right. only going to do it once a month? Thank you. No, we're not just going to try this one time. Let's just start with I just want to see time. if I can get her through this first 48. Yeah, let's try this <laughs> 48. It's a month away. It's, I mean, and it's really hard. It is hard. Like Even the, writing it down. Like the other day, I was like, like, I'm not logging into Facebook today. And it was brutal. Was yeah, really brutal. but it was it was so necessary. Yeah. So I feel like because of the amount of things that I post on Facebook, not just for myself but for other promos, yeah, I have to actually announce, "Hey, I am logging out for the next twenty four hours." <laughs> no, you don't. no, I mean no, and I do I do that so that when I stop, people leave you alone. You don't call me and text me. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, What's yeah. going on? I was expecting this. this. No, I'm. Don't talk to me on emotional health. And honestly, for you all too, because if I snap. <laughs> and when I see you say you're taking a break, I don't say nothing. But you know, no, you don't. And that is wonderful of 
you and I appreciate it. Thank you. I just you need though, you to do the same thing. I'm gonna tell you though, when you sometimes when I announce it, I, it's why I stopped announcing it mm. because then it just calls attention to it, mm -hmm. and then it calls attention to your inbox, calls attention to this. And, Oh no! Well, when you come back, okay. um, <laughs> I have a question. When you get back, I know <laughs> that you're you offline right now. But when you get back, it's like real fat. I actually know my passwords. Ergo, I legitimately log out of everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you try to reach me, it's not going to be seen, to log answered, dinged, or notified. Look at you. I block my text messages. I will actually uninstall temporarily. My text message. I can't do it. I'll put it back. No, I can't. <laughs> your text on because your phone? It's, it's oh, no, we're back. Yeah, they're going to reach me, the ones that need to, like my brother, my father, my, you know. That's so sad. They can reach me. My kids can reach me. Beyond that, I love you guys, but no. Yeah. My phone stays on day and day. It's on day and day right now. All right, let's do 30 <laughs> seconds to do it before I forget it, before I get into the ratchet stuff. Oh, God. Okay. So 30 seconds of joy is I have every guest think of something that makes them really, really happy. I set a timer. For the record, before you think of what your 30 seconds of joy is, we have a bet. <laughs> On what mine is? Uh-huh. Ooh. <laughs> that was, that was 30 second timer. <laughs> have you thought of it yet? So yeah, for 30 seconds you will gush about whatever it is that makes you happy. We've had quite a variety mm -hmm. of things. Oh, I know what happened. Sure, I have my um, hotspot turned. Oh, hold on, commercial break. Look <laughs> <laughs> back. It says it's live. Yeah, I'm still live. She's still live, but my thing. Oh, that. Oh, do you need a hotspot? Yeah. I do. We're still live. Hey, everybody. Want to talk about some things and stuff like that? Okay, just don't let me forget to do the. Okay, do you have it? I don't have a timer. You have a timer? So my count yeah, it's me? on. Okay. <laughs> now, what is it? It should say <laughs> iPhone. Somebody's on here named Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Random. <laughs> Yes. Remember, I tried to log on to the Christian Faith one. You're like, are you really still? By uh, it says choose iPhone from Wi-Fi settings. Um, the Christian Faith people, and I was like, if it connects. <laughs> the password is Hallelujah. <laughs> if it connects, and it absolutely well, we do it. <laughs> Sixty nine. I was gonna say that. That's what I want to say. <laughs> Got it. Oh, oh there it is. Okay. Passive is black excellence. Of course it is. It's spelled this. It way. would not be you. If you were <laughs> However, not for I thought it was going to be J. Cole, to be honest with you. I, I whole expected world. I expected, whole world. I expected December Jermaine. Cole. Let me plug that in. I did. I expected the full Jermaine. <laughs> I'm really you sad. You don't know. I've never met a bigger J. Cole fan. Big fact. I am a J. Cole snob. You actually snob. are. <laughs> but that's how I am about the gay child. And so I don't good. care. No, so what? <laughs> While we're waiting for me to connect, um, what's on your playlist these days? Oh, so I've been going through a, um, like a deep dig lately. Because mm -hmm. I'm all in, a, in my emotions lately. So I've been like really digging deep into my uh, drives and such. So I've been playing a lot of older stuff, <clears throat> a lot of blues. Um, Popular blues or unsound blues? Oh, I'm pretty old school. So the more it sounds like an old black man on the porch, the better. BB King? Yeah. I'll do BB King, but we're actually talking a little more rustic than that. Oh. Like, I like my blues to sound like they just happened. Right? <laughs> like they're, like they're What's that? I can relate to it right now. Like the closest you get to a drum is somebody patting their guitar. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. I, matter of fact, no, for real. Yeah. yeah. I just <laughs> listened to this cat brushing one string. Oh, you heard it? Nah. 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 So it's this Jamaican dude, he sings like this real weird mix of like blues and other stuff, but he has like a guitar with one string on it. And he like, 
plays the drums on his guitar like with his fingers and he just oh, hits his fingers. Brushy one string, yo. Brushy one string. Why is it? Way to take a concept and brand it. Why is it brushy? Who cares? I need to know now. <laughs> I need to know now. Are there any blues places in Columbus? No, there has not been a blues place here for about 15 years. Yes. Yeah, interesting. Wild. It's not. <laughs> I was trying. No, I mean. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> Nah, for Columbus, on no, 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 blues. I mean, there are blues players here, don't get me wrong. And I love blues, and I've booked blues, but it's hard to book blues. Yeah. You know, because there's no place for the blues to live. Yeah. Right. And so it's hard for it to nurture, like, a blues band. First of all, a blues band will be comprised of people, just like most bands. You know, the cats, everybody in the band is in five other bands. Of course. And but if you're in a blues band, you're probably not just playing blues. Yeah. Right. So you're playing blues with your band, but then you're playing like rock in the other four bands, mm-hmm. which shouldn't be much of a difference, but it is. Is it ever? here? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. I would like very much to drink some cognac in a dark corner and listen to somebody <laughs> with the real light blues. over. Really, yeah. make me sad. <laughs> with that one light. <laughs> with just so, with the one light. We really light. want that. So the good news is I am going to be putting on a really big blues event in I'll August. I'll be there. Yeah. Nice. Like outside, the whole thing. Nice. They're going to have a smoker. It does serve food. Okay. Yeah, I've done it twice before. It's an event called Shedden. Nice. I remember I people banging for that. Yeah. Oh, Shedden? Yeah. Shedden is the truth, man. I'm excited. Yeah, I got to shut down the play, the property for a good week or so to get it ready. Okay. Yeah, because we turned... Well, when I was doing it before... Like, I would just build this juke, literally build this juke joint in somebody's backyard. Yes. And yeah. so it was all outside. My boys, Dr. Cindy Jones, did all the food. So I feel like if there is alcoholic beverages, there are no oh. mixed drinks. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, nah, totally. No, totally. Yeah. <laughs> totally. The closest you get to a mix is on the rocks. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so I'll be bringing that back. It's been gone for like three four years. I yeah, remember people at talking least. about that in the list of things that they ask you to do. That, And I'm like, what is that? Now mm-hmm. I know what it is. Yeah. Well, now we have Mr. All the Things. And- <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm just thinking. The Jack and the Jackie of all trades. <laughs> Nice, this nice energy. Are, I mean, you're looking at two very tired people right now. Yeah, so, <laughs> so passionate, so tired. Yeah, and but that's what I'm listening so to. Like, well, I, I, not I mean, like 50 percent blues and 50 percent whatever else happens. Mm-hmm. Which for me Bushy is brushy. One string is now added. Brushy, to brushy, brushy, brushy. Thank you. Bushy. No, I didn't. Right. This is why I have to repeat it because okay. you're Jamaican. No, got you. I know. I'm so sorry, Jamaica. Sorry. So sorry. Okay, so now that I have my timer, <laughs> yeah. did you think of your thing? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of it and then forgot it. Yeah, I think we got it back. Okay. I think so. Let's so see, let's see what this thing is. So look into that camera there. This is Scott Wood's 30 Seconds of Joy starting now. So the thing that brings me joy is horror movies. Did you win the bet? No. Nope. No. You didn't, did you? That was actually my second yeah. choice. You know, it was oh, PlayStation, yeah. didn't you? <laughs> Time yeah. Oh, I'll say. So it's horror movies. Um, horror movies uh, are generally bad, but that isn't why I watch them or don't watch them. Um, I really, really love horror movies uh, because they can be anything, right? Mm-hmm. Like a horror movie can consist of so many elements. It's not all just monsters or just slashers. There's all kinds of things that would qualify something to be a horror film. And I love that variety. Um, but really, the thing about horror movies that really keeps me in is it's like mining for gold. Most of them are bad. And so when I find a good one, it's like, oh, it's a beautiful Three, thing. Two. <laughs> okay, I'm a black Italian. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For the record, the assumption was, of course, that it was going to be Prince-based. Oh, well, that's fair. Yeah. But I am not surprised, because I do adamantly follow you on Twitter, mm. I am not surprised that it was a horror movie. It I is horror so. movies, yeah. No, yeah I, I, I watch like any one horror movie shit. a day. Yeah. No, you don't. It's you make chicken baby. Do you like no. paranormal horror movies? I, like well, paranormal. so, <laughs> well, let's be clear. Paranormal I will genre watch or paranormal any series. kind of horror film, right? <laughs> the genre. But do I like them? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if I find a good one, yeah. Okay. 
How yeah. do you feel about this Candyman remake? Mm. So it's not a remake. It's apparently a sequel. Okay. But I've tried to stay off of worse all of the information. Right? Maybe. Like, I've tried to like not follow a up sequel. on it. Uh huh. Yeah. And so like the little black boy from the first film, mm-hmm. well, he's the main character in this one. Uh, Is it the actual that? little black boy? No. Or? Okay. Um, <laughs> this is the original Candyman. Because that would have been cool. I'm not watching it. <laughs> like, oh. I saw the original yeah, one time as a child, and so I think cheap. that I blocked it out. Like I remember yeah. pieces of it, <laughs> yeah. and I remember that I didn't want to ever see it again. Yeah, no, I will say, I don't even know what child you're talking about right now. Candyman <laughs> and the original Shining with uh, Jack Nicholson. Didn't see it. He used to scare the shit out of no. me when I was a kid. That's okay. weird. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> what we will not do today me. is take Scott down a Stephen King rabbit hole. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, would, uh, I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't, do that. <laughs> I wouldn't let you do that. Okay, so but you I will ask. I will ask. Since <laughs> <laughs> you've in the shining, I will ask if you saw Doctor Sleep. No. Oh, that's so. so that that's sounds a like a bad idea. Uh, okay. No. Also, again, surprisingly. I think as an adult, I wouldn't be as scared. Mm. Well, <laughs> what creeps me as an adult? Well, not really anymore, but used to was like paranormal movies, because mm-hmm. the spirits and stuff. Because that's that's real. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> that energy be in this movie yeah. theater yeah. with you. <laughs> yeah. I have to say, for myself before, during, and after. <laughs> no, <Wow>. not <laughs> happening. <laughs> but I think I can I can deal with the sequel of The Shining. Are you going to see Candyman? Yeah. yeah, probably. Yeah, it's hard enough for me. Uh, I want to be supportive because Black Girl is with the director or something. Oh, yeah. uh, but or maybe I'll buy somebody a ticket or something. You should just buy the ticket for it and then go into another theater. I could do that. Mm-hmm. That sounds cool. So that is a perfect segue <laughs> to our ratchet segment. <laughs> okay. Let's get ratchet. Let's get ratchet. Shout ratchet. out to the dollar movies that no longer exist at Scarborough Mall mm. that I used to go to. Throwback. No we, we used to buy one movie Scarborough and see Mall. several movies back when people could just drop their children off at movie theaters. It's really hard to do that now. That's yeah. the same as the city. Because of all the science. Yeah. You can do it at Lennox, though. Yeah. Oh. I mean, they do it at Pickering. Things, so I've too. read on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard if you wanted to watch multiple movies for the price of one. Right. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys options with directions. I'm going to go here. Mars versus Venus is basically relationship shit that I see on the internet. That was ridiculous enough, or interesting enough, or I was just curious enough to save to talk about um there was a woman who needed advice uh, let me pull that up um there's one asking advice about some baby daddy stuff Jesus. and then there is another one that um hannah tagged me in at oh, some point a couple weeks ago okay. she always finds great ashley <laughs> 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 Like that anymore. I'm so proud of myself. I'm very proud of you. This one's about something that's going down in the basement um, that she needs advice on. So, which which one would you like to go with first? The basement. Yeah, that sounds like a horror movie. Okay. Um, Erica says, I need advice. My baby daddy kept on stepping out to cheat, and I just couldn't take it anymore. So I told him, if you want to cheat, I get to get to have some play too. Well, I was tired of him always leaving, so I let him find a live-in side piece. She stays in the basement with her kids, so I can have the main floors to myself with my son. What Then, (laughs) I met an amazing dude on Tinder, and we decided to move him into the basement, too. (laughs) With her, because it just makes it easier for me and my baby daddy to go down there and mess with them. Well... My side dude and his side piece wound up falling in love, and now she's expecting, but we don't know if it's my baby daddy's baby or (laughs) my side dude's baby. Now we are all arguing because, no, I'm sorry, because 
we don't know who want to claim what on taxes next year. <laughs> this is not real. What the real. Tyler Perry meets um, <laughs> Philip <laughs> Killer going on here? Oh, it's still more. It's more. Oh, but wait, I'm thinking more. me and my baby daddy should claim any kids that come from the basement because it's our basement. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody made this up. <laughs> the side pieces want to get DNA tests to see who has full rights to claim the baby. <laughs> Which option should we choose? I'm not even sure what option she's talking Come about. Come on. So, one, I know. stopped at, I think, question six. Um, first first of all, there are no amazing men on Tinder. Th- that was my first point. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing and Tinder lies. But I mean, <laughs> and if an that's in question, the rest of it is in Obviously question. Obviously not, because he, no amazing man is going to move in your basement. In your basement. With yes, a woman and side, her kids. To be your side with ninja. The, with the strange woman and her strange ass baby <laughs> that belongs to your baby daddy. Wait, does the her the, the side piece of baby belongs to the baby daddy? Just, no, she had already had a baby. Okay. And I can tell you right now without doing a paternity test <laughs> that the baby belongs to the man because that is what would make the situation the absolute worst. And Absolutely. And then right. y'all get to argue about taxes. So I'm guessing who is the question. Ask her what I need. need. Ask her if I can have one of the taxes. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got no babies, okay? I'm so when so I need. claim the baby because it's the baby, it came in there. In their they? That's, that's not ain't how it no works. Ain't no She's not a part of that. She ain't She's literally the only person who has no stake yeah. in this at all. Right. So? She didn't all right. move out. Okay. Just let them have the house. Take her kids and go. Start over. Please. Burn everything because down. Because also herpes. <laughs> Coronavirus, herpes, <laughs> AIDS. So what everything. I need to happen is, it was an Erica submit that question? Yes, yeah, Erica. Erica, baby, write a script. Write a script or at the very least oh, so um write a very ghetto book, put some fly black a chick with mills. good weave on the cover and some way too buffed out extra chocolate dude so that he can be disrespectful in the whole book. Um it'll sell. It will absolutely sell. It will absolutely sell. I'll buy it. <laughs> so all I'm saying is since you are the only person in this scenario who does not get to claim said ghetto ratchet basement baby, basement baby, get your coin, sis. All I'm saying. It goes down in the basement. <laughs> it goes down in the basement. That's what he meant in the BM. He said the they wandered up falling in love. <laughs> down the BM. Because I don't know what he was talking about. Not what he said. He did not say DM. He not say DM. He does not say DM. Google it. I've been trying to figure out for years what he was talking about. He talked about the basement. Erica, his side chick. I'm so I want to add. I'm gonna add a horror movie title to every one of these. Isn't this like the this one is called the People Who Live Under the Stairs? Yeah. <laughs> Look at you, huh? People Under the Stairs. I don't know which stairs. old stuff you know and which old stuff you don't. I don't, don't know either. <laughs> You're so confusing. Such <laughs> a mystery. That was the opening. Okay. People who live under the stairs. Tell them to convert too. Oh, I'm with Billy. Oh, what you here? <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. You're, you're nuts. Okay. Like, I am not the one who found it. Um, that's funny. Um, <laughs> question. Ladies, would you help pay your baby daddy's child support for his other kids? This was presented by a gentleman on my friend list. Did you need a blush? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Some days I take 30 days off because I'm just like the... You'll just be posting anything. <laughs> so, and women engage all day long. And they be like really oh. arguing with this dude. I'm like, he's just fucking with y'all. Like, but whatever. Okay. This question. <laughs> Would you help pay your baby daddy's child support for his other kids? Okay, can I, can I, can I please, please, please? Well, have at it. Okay. As a very strong, passionate, aggressive status and speaker against struggle love no hell no (laughs) i love you baby fuck no and also stop bro that being said (laughs) these are children that you created i'm neither inserted 
nor receive said semen. Baby daddy <laughs> is the keyword to me. Not your oh, husband. Kids. That's what I'm saying. Your baby daddy. This is your baby daddy. Mm-hmm. Regardless, these are kids that you created. It is your job as a man to support your children. To buy them Cheetos. And frankly, <laughs> especially hot ones. <laughs> frankly, I cannot consciously respect a man who does not care for his children. Mm-hmm. I can't. Or one says, I can't take you either. seriously. But that's not the question. <laughs> <laughs> no, the question is, the question would is, I help is, would you? Would you help him? And that's what I'm saying. I can't even respect you as a man to be with you to help you take care of the kids. But what if he's if paying he... and now he needs a little help? Why? Maybe he got cut on hours at work. Then your hustle is backwards. Figure it out. <laughs> so it's still out. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, I have a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Simply trolling. Disclaimer. Cargo. Uh, I am still trying to pay for the ones that I have. Big facts. I and I and have all the babies. And so. some other chicks, kids. <laughs> and you're not even my husband. Because it says baby dad. And that's that's the clincher. Because, ew. No. So I get you out of child support debt so that you can go You're home saying and no, lots taxes. of women on said post were like, yeah, because that's why they got in. We got Those to are together. pick me's. We are Ladies, king. give up the struggle of, okay? <laughs> I don't yeah, want his no. kids to go without. Like, what kind of woman <laughs> would I be if I let his kids I just feel up? like that you still mm-hmm. a little boy if you that out here asking women for help like no man a man that knows how to take care of himself and take care of all his responsibilities is cheetos. not about to be <laughs> like having you cheetos. pay his damn they child really support like and as a childless woman no and the limit is one child anyways like <laughs> oh okay. you just limited your dating pool I did. <laughs> a one and there's nothing wrong with that you absolutely have the right to have your choices <laughs> however I waited long enough Nobody Man, that, Mom. Your pool just evaporated. <laughs> okay. Over 30 with one child. <laughs> so that's it's you. <laughs> that's Mary. Mayor Scott. Maybe Diggy Simmons. He doesn't have any children. Diggy yet. Simmons, he's 24. Oh, he's not over 30. If he had one child, he, he can't does. have another. He can afford it. Yeah. He's got at least one child. He's happy. Is he aware of it? <laughs> <He's got it. laughs> <laughs> I'm just J. Cole got two, but you know, it's not even that type of relationship. I'm just trying to be his friend. So, um, With benefits? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get up under the stairs. In the basement. In the basement. In the basement. <laughs> benefits in the basement. The uh, basement. Story. <laughs> in the basement. Um, oh, side yeah. note, unrelated. A little bit of just random Facebook stuff. Why in 2020 on the good day of March 11th? Are y'all still spamming people on Facebook? Like, why? What is the thought process behind? I'm gonna just drop my song in your inbox and I ain't never had a conversation with you before. Ooh. Or, this is not my space. Whatever the things that you <laughs> like to drop in people's like, inboxes. Like right. <laughs> it's not even on my agenda for this evening, but I've just been getting a lot of. It's spam. Like, Hashtag leave Camille alone. Like just and any other people who <laughs> stop don't, spamming Camille. Don't send me roses. Like sending flowers to all the beautiful women in the world, sisterhood. <sighs> I know that your intention is send good, this to ten women. Thing. I hate yeah. those. <laughs> I hate it. Send this to ten women. I don't. There's several people who are blocked from messaging me and Big don't know facts. it. And now you know if you can't message me, it's probably because you kept sending me the roses <laughs> with the glitter and shit on it. For strong black women. <laughs> um, Here's the really thing. If out. you inbox me a, a, a chain letter, <laughs> chain letter esque or chain letter adjacent, yeah, it died me. with me. <laughs> it <ends up> me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I broke the chain. It. I did not respond. I did not send to five women last year. I'll take my chances. I just, <laughs> so so like, the still world still is me. on fire right we now. Have not it's those. your fault. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Corona came from the it's fact that I broke all the chain <laughs> letters. Like, Jesus, you don't like but me if I don't send your message to I will know people. that coronavirus like is work. not affecting children or black people because we're innocent. Okay. This is a different form of reparations. And I totally yeah. forgot. Oh my god. Um, stay woke. Totally, I totally forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm going to need that woke. <laughs> 
Let's take a nap. <laughs> I'm tired. It's a cat nap. Uh, nice. Question: Why do women hate video games so much? I like video huh? games. Huh? Like men who play video games. I think it's... again, huh? Yes. So there's a picture circulating of a woman. She had her baby. She's in the hospital, and then her man that's is like so playing old. this game on the computer. I think that's cute. And but he's there. Yeah, like, he's there. And some of y'all. I like... mean the rage. Like I can't stand a man to play video games, and I've been watching this for like. Very long time and just really curious about the whole thing. Okay. Is your joke ready? Wait, this no, is like, been ready. Okay. I got a question about this. Okay, come here. Come, sit, come, sit, uh, by Mr. here. come sit by Mayor Woods. How's it going, man? Uh, just fine, citizen. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's that's forward, baby. Oh man! All right, so They can't see you. See, see how you know. He's like video games. Yeah. There you are. No, there you are. Okay, so if you knew this man played video games, but you don't like that he does that, why are you with him? Okay. Or why did you have a baby with him? Oh. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> because you did, they, they know the game. They're going to change him. Men that why. play video games, you know that they like video games. Why did you let me do this to you? Why did you let me do this to you? <laughs> okay, so the question then, is it, why do women not like video games why do or women, don't like guys who play video why games? Why do women not like guys who play video games? What is the issue? I don't, I don't know. know because issue, I think, don't have a problem with it. I think a potential issue would be is that that's all he does and he's a bum and like that's all he does. I think that's Some the stigma don't like behind it. At all. Like, Again, why are you? I think that's the stigma behind it. Like that, all he does is stay home and play video games. He don't take care of bills. But right. if he's <laughs> only playing, that's how it started. Yeah. But if you if he did that, then why? If that's all he does, why you are you, that why are you produce, reproducing with these people? Right. Okay. Save your eggs, twenty twenty. As a <laughs> <laughs> this is a choice, twenty twenty. Oh, you know you don't have to have his baby. Right. Twenty twenty. Here's the thing, because I don't even think the original question had anything to do with the baby until you bought up the the terrible. Yeah, that was the but um, how it, picture. Yeah, yeah, picture is what I keep seeing. I don't in women's group. I don't think that there's an issue with a man who plays video games per se. One because for all of you women who are so concerned about your dude being out all night with his boys. Drunk in the streets, mm-hmm. sleeping with Africa Bonaquisha. Africa. <laughs> in the basement. In the basement. <laughs> <laughs> with your side, nigga. Uh, <laughs> understand that if he's sitting in the living room playing video games and that's how he chooses to decompress, he's home. He's not going through his money or yours. Girl, don't care. You still got diaper money. You still got hair weaving nail money if you had it already. That's your thing. My hair is locked. I ain't bought weed in years. That being said, I'm, I'm ready to take this things. out to put some more weed. Like, that being said, though, anyway. if the issue is why are you spending all you day playing money. video games, that wasn't new to you. Mm-hmm. When you met him, it was probably while y'all was online. In the middle of video Listen, gaming. that man has a job and he is buying <laughs> Cheetos for these kids. What? Yeah, what is Cheetos? I don't know. Just go with it. Kids and, love Cheetos. You know, he's handling his business Cheetos. and you can go watch Grey's mm-hmm. Anatomy or whatever you like to watch while he plays Madden. Like, I think the I think the root of the issue is just control. Yeah. Control and ownership. You try to control and own your partner and try to you know, dictate their every move, and then you wonder why they y'all ain't work children, out. right? <laughs> well, well, now, if this so. is Tyrell that you moved from his grandma's couch into your couch, that was a personal <laughs> choice when you did it. Well, you knew what Tyrell was about. <laughs> what were you gonna say? The first thing you brought up from us is they will go. Okay. I was just gonna say. I think you yeah. have to go back in the corner now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you average. back in a minute. <laughs> Uh, I was just gonna say, look, if you let the average dude play video games every day, that is what he is going to do. Mm-hmm. Like that's really all our goal in life is, is to end up in front of video games. <laughs> and so, it, like, a job is just nine hours to a video game, right? So, to, to me, the question is kind of ridiculous. It's like, mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's what we, that's, if you let dudes get away, I mean, that's, that's what we're going to do. We're gonna <laughs> right. Do so, I almost, I, I, I actually feel for the quote unquote woman in the question, uh, only because I know what she's really, she's saying something, she's asking something else, mm-hmm. right? She's not saying, you know, or she, or I should say the person who wrote the question, it, you know, she doesn't hate video games and she doesn't hate that her man plays video games. She hates when a man plays video games five nights a week. Is it right by her booty up or something? Or something, you know. Big facts. Or, you know, he plays it all weekend <laughs> mm-hmm. and works all week and then plays all weekend mm-hmm. and she can't find her way in there. Mm-hmm. So, she that's what that is. Oh, so I if, that. If that's... No! I mean, no, that's a controller and some booty shorts. There you go. Uh, Maybe number three. First of all, I'm my game is one play. In the basement. <laughs> in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> he said one player. <laughs> I never really had there was an issue available with that. that. I just want you to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I've dated people who love their video games, mm-hmm. and I kind of just maneuvered around that because I always right. had shit to do. Like, right? Don't we know it? But I know I get you off the game, but I need to get you off the game. It's not really that. Damn, we know we listen to your But as far as the picture of the man in the in the hope, the hospital room, mm-hmm. like when when I had babies. Um, I wouldn't have cared at all. Right, because he's present. The first one, I was present. there with her pretty much by myself once everybody left. So I would have been totally I fine. I mean, because let's be with honest. You Call of Duty. <laughs> all you guys also are doing in handing the hospital her to me. <laughs> is there's nothing to do. And breastfeeding. There's nothing to do. So he's supposed to just sit there and watch you? Yes. And he could obviously be. According to many women. No. Yes. <laughs> no. He could be a straight bum and not even be there. I mean, the frankly, TV's literally just on. Like, let's yeah. let's be honest. Half of y'all wouldn't know who to invite to the hospital anyway. And that. Oh, wow. And there is that. Um. Next okay. question. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost done here. Oh, um, we're almost done. Gabe, do you have your joke ready? Oh, so Gabe yeah, is um, an aspiring stand-up comedian nice. this week or next week. I'm not nice. sure. And so I have um, challenged him to tell you guys a joke. We haven't heard the joke. Um, so he's First of all, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> this is Jasmine's as, child. As his mother. <laughs> <laughs> Before he gives this joke, I have neither heard it nor approved it. So, Daddy, if you're watching, I didn't have nothing to do with this. This is your grandbaby. It's too late now. Spouse, if you are watching... You already know your child. That's all I'm saying. Continue, baby. Yeah, I'll read things one real quick. No, nah, sit down. Uh, you t- tell one of the ones you told us. Come on, baby. There it is. All right. Okay, you got one? Yes. Lean in so they can see you. Just lean forward. <laughs> right, I was just thinking about the famous <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Gabe, everyone. For all of you. Closer, they can't uh, see you. Uh, 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 no, 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 no,
I mean, I looked at the ceiling and it was up She was looking for a deeper meaning. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, I back. He said, universe, my met mine. Yeah, blood orbs. Please no. Okay. <laughs> Is that it? What's the one that you didn't want to say after I had to give my disclaimer? <clears throat> Is it a dirty joke or a naughty joke or I'm going to talk about you later joke? Yes. Go with it. All right. Wait, let's, let's stop it. Okay. Just do it. You got to get on yeah. camera so they don't think I'm telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> they know your voice. You got that distinct it's voice. Like not, it's clear. It's not me. So. It's you. It's a dirty joke. Okay. Wait, so. Okay. It's a, it's a dirty joke. <laughs> This parent approved this. We don't know what that means. Oh, no, it's, 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 it's just, 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 Charlie okay. Charlie. <laughs> Put this yeah. on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so deeply concerned. I'm just going to look at you, mother. <laughs> Go ahead, man. So, you know how they say, two great minds think alike. Mm-hmm. You ever thought about if two bald guys put their heads together, what they'd be thinking about? Ass. Huh? Is that the? <laughs> 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 he got his bald too bald to the ass. I'm like, unless you got hair on your butt. <laughs> it's almost time for me to go. Game, home. everyone. Game. <laughs> You're doing a fine job. <laughs> For the record, you guys, that was a testicle joke. Oh, balls. Oh. Ass or balls? Oh, gosh. <laughs> we said balls. Oh, gosh. So, once again, I did not out. approve these jokes. <laughs> 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 I apologize. No, wait. Hey, let me get clear. No, no, no. You can't explain it. I apologize so much. We don't even know. <laughs> y'all couldn't just let him stop at the boom. You kept pushing it. The boom made me tickle. That tickled me. The that tickled my fancy. We just kept, kept on going because, you know. So, okay. So, I guess we have to be ready with some period approved jokes going forward. No, just let him do what he does. Like, if you got on stage. I'm not raising Dave Chappelle in 13. I had another dirty joke. Oh, no. No, save for next no, week. See, no, thank you. It's kid approved. No, thank you. Oh. Hard pass. You sure? <laughs> see, you know the one My that's going to be back, back in um, the Here. Uh, With the horse. I don't even know what's happening. Um, you can watch the So Dope show on previous episodes. Except for the last one that I still need to put up. On our, <clears throat> our YouTube page, <laughs> just type in Soul Dope or the Soul Dope Show in your YouTube search. Subscribe, watch the episodes that are there. I'm going to put this one on there um, with the last one. Also, on iTunes, Apple Music, you got to go to the podcast section because it's a separate thing, which I learned. If you're like looking for a song and you try to type it in, it won't know what you're talking about. I don't know why they do it like that, but whatever. <laughs> Spotify, however, you don't have to go through all that. You can just type it in and you'll find all of the previous episodes, again, except for the last one, because I need to upload it. Um, yeah. Next week on the show, I have no idea who the guest is. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was on a roll there. You're doing so good. I was doing so good. good. And then I forgot who my guest is. But it's somebody interesting. The Let's way see. you earlier just rattled off all those out of town rappers Man, and singers. That just was like boom, boom. Like, wow. In their locations. Next week, Latoya Buzzy Jones, incredible vocalist. Remember, she sang at my birthday party. And you're mm. like, what, 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 what is yeah. this? She will be here because she's getting ready to do a show um, backstage at the Lincoln mm. on the 25th. Have you done that? No. Which is ironically interesting. Um, okay, but I will be going to see Lazoya's show with the Daniel Goins band. So she will be here. I'm not sure what she's bringing with her um, to talk about the show and soul music. And because I think she's someone that you guys should really know because I haven't heard another voice like hers in like, I don't know, 
decades. <laughs> like, decades. Who does she remind you of? Ooh. Celebrity wise. I don't know. I'm gonna talk like Betty Wright. I was somebody. just gonna say Betty <laughs> Wright would be my who? Oh, so like <sighs> Raspy <laughs> Gosh. Tana. Sorry. I'm eighty seven. Okay. That's not it is. What were you I was listening to as a kid? I really, I had to sneak and do things. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay. It was mostly Fair. like New York hip hop. Betty okay. Wright would not have been just <laughs> chilling on the radio. <laughs> <when you're laughs> <sticking. laughs> so Zoya so will be here. And then after that, I won't have a show on the 25th. It's I'm going to be going to shows. Hey. And then we'll be back in That's April. That's the triangle. The triangles on, on April 1st. They also have a show on the 25th. But they will be here the week after that show to talk about it. So, Dre Peace and CC, uh, my favorite duo. Shout out to the Triangles. Yeah. Some <laughs> cool guests. I have some more people on the schedule. Some more people. Who would you like to see on the couch on your episode of the show? Let me know. And maybe if I think they're interesting. <laughs> Hilarious. I will maybe book them to come on the show. You need to ask the Triangles why they don't do more original music on this show. Because they have it. They, they totally have it. So the, the original stuff is amazing. Incredible. CC has her own stuff, and Dre has his stuff, and they have stuff together. So I don't know. You know, I'm pro original stuff all the time. See how R and B music fest is coming. Got a lot of things to do. Um, that's the update. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of things to do. So much to do. Um, I think that's all I have for today. Anybody have any announcements? Double, du- double Dutch and Brunch is coming. Double up. Dutch and Brunch. We did this last summer for the first time because Hannah didn't know how to jump Double Dutch. And it was an emergency. And I was <laughs> like, like come on, let's like 10 of us go <laughs> over here to the box park and teach her how to jump Double Dutch. And then we were in the newspaper. <laughs> Every time. Even, yeah. like, I just wanted to be like, hey, this is how you do it. And now, then it turned into a whole thing. And then there's grandmas and people with two year olds. And aunties. And aunties. And it was, turned out to be a beautiful thing. And so, Black Girl Magic can happen at any time. To <laughs> stop that from happening. So, in June, that will be back for the season until, I don't know, we'll do like three or four of them. Um, and Hannah will be taking lead on that because I got shit to do. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> but something had, like, yeah, something had to be. Here you go, here's a project. Delegated. Yeah, and that was at the top of the list. I didn't want to not bring it back. So if it was either delegated or don't have it, it was a no brainer. She handled it. Um, do we have the same DJ? Is going to come back? He should. Okay. They show my body. Okay. That's it. This was so dope show. Thank you, Scott Woods. Mayor Scott Woods. Thank you. He brought the scarf. I oh, can't see it, but the can we show you guys scarf. Can I put your scarf on like Oh, it's all a ritual to put it on. Yeah, oh. I imagine so. Especially <laughs> the new one. This is the new one. Is this how people get inducted into your cult? They watch people. <laughs> I'm gonna find out. Bye. Tune in next week. Try to get him to put the scarf on so I can take a picture with him. Okay, Gabe, you can uh, sign it. Sign us off there. Peace, I. Finish right there. Peace and love and all that good stuff. Chicken grease.